Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first Tea Tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how you can turn this into something like this, using a plugin called StreamFX for OBS Studio. The caveat there being, it's only for OBS Studio, so if you're using Streamlabs OBS or any other recording software, it's not really going to work. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and let's dive right in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download StreamFX. This is the page. I will have a link in the description. It will be simple. Just click on downloads here. Scroll down. If you're using Windows, I suggest using the installer. It makes it easy, but you can also get it zipped up or what have you. And it even has options for those of you using Linux. So just do that and we can move on from there. So I have one scene here with just few basic things for background stuff. The main thing we're going to have to do first off is set up for the filters that are added by StreamFX to do this. So we're going to make a new scene. I'm going to call this Dynamic Mask. So the main thing we're going to do here is just add a couple of sources or really any sources you're going to be using that's going to define what's going to be transparent and what's going to be visible. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a media source. I'll call this smoke mask in this case. So here I have my smoke mask and it is an animation. Let me go ahead and just add it in here. You want it to loop and leave all the other stuff the way it is. Just make sure that you don't have the close file when inactive checked. If you do that, it'll mess stuff up. So here we go. This is the animation. The red is what we're going to make transparent and the black here is what's going to be visible. Just for the sake of uh, examples, I'm going to actually add another media source in here real fast. I'm going to call it electric mask. And it's going to be the same thing. It's just another animation I slapped together. Or, uh, well, messing around with it really so this is another animation that i have the fact that they're both visible in here is irrelevant don't concern yourself just drop what you need in here and you're good so let's go ahead and make ourselves a scene for the camera uh in this case i'm gonna make one for the smoke camera and another one for the electric, just to make them separated. And I'm going to add in our video capture device. This is a C920. I'll just call it that. Select that one. Hey, it's me! Oh no, I broke it. No. I'll select the correct resolution. And now that's added in there. So, what do we do now? Now that we got that set up, we're going to go ahead and click on this scene that we have and we're going to select filters inside the filters we're going to add dynamic mask name it smoke mask and we're going to select the source that is the smoke animation so let's find that guy smoke mask right there we're going to ignore all these settings here and go all the way to the bottom. Since we want the red to be transparent, that's what we're going to select and we're going to put in negative one. Now you want to do negative one and not something that's higher, like negative 90.99 uh, or something like that, because then you will start seeing the edges of this camera. It will look weird. Trust me. So we will save that. So now you see this is applied here. So let's go back to our main scene. And let's just add in our scene that is the smoke camera. And there you go. Now you can manipulate it like you would any other thing. And I have the background here in case you want to use that. Now you can see the little red box around this. If you don't set that uh, setting to the negative one and you start having it be higher and closer to zero, then you will start to see the edges of this border. But as you can see for this thing, it works pretty well. And you can see my hand just kind of cuts off and it's all wobbling around and stuff. 
I'll go ahead and make another one for the electric. And we will add the camera in here. This thing. And we'll use the existing because that's okay. We will go back to the scene. We will filters. Add a dynamic mask. In this case, we're going to select the electric mask source that we created in that other uh, scene that we're just collecting them in. Go back to the red, negative one, bam. And now you got this weird thing going on. They add that scene in here. Let me turn off the smoke camera real quick. So now you see this thing and it's, it's just all kinds of weird. This one was not well done like the other one and the other one probably has its flaws and what have you. I'm not good at animation. I don't know how to use After Effects and things like that. So you're going to have to find someone else for that stuff. Now, you don't have to use red as the color, but you do want to use one of the primaries, red, green or blue, because those are all options in there. You can use white, but then you have to adjust a bunch of the different ones to find the right combination. So just stick with one of the main colors and you'll be pretty well set for that. Now, also, you can use this for basically any scene you want, whether it be this one for a camera, for your chat box, a picture of a banana, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever you want to do, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't I don't know how to end this. I don't have an outro yet. I'll get it eventually. But uh, yeah. Have fun.